In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add instructors to your website and highlight a few different ways to do so. So with Lifter LMS out of the box, if we go here to users, let me actually show you what an instructor will see. So instructors on the back end of WordPress, they create courses on the back end. They can see the courses area, create their own courses. And of course, I cannot edit these courses that I didn't create. I'm actually logged in as this magic Will Middleton at gmail.com user. And so I can actually only edit my own courses or add new ones. I can also see reporting data on my specific courses. So that's what an instructor can see. And in order to add an instructor, typically you'll go to the back end of WordPress under users and then add a new user just as you would manually and assign them the role of instructor. Uh, you can also change the role of existing students or members of your website by just clicking edit on them and then changing their role to instructor. So one way to make this process a little bit more smooth is to use a forms tool. So in this example, I'm using WP forms. You could use any forms tool you'd like though. I made this form a basic instructor registration form, uh, name, email, experience, or whatever data you wanted to collect. And so now that I have my WP forms created, I could add maybe like an instructor registration page to my website. So if I had like instructor registration, and then I could add in WP forms, select my form. And of course, forms tools have short codes. You can put in on your page, just paste a short code to display your form. And that's going to change based on what forms tool you're using. Some of them just have a, uh, a block like WP forms does here. But uh, on this website, I'm using the, the cadence theme. And there's not very much styling, uh, but on your website, it should look um, pretty good with some more spacing here. And of course you could uh, manually change any of this, but this is a pretty uh, naked page at the moment. But um, I now have my instructor registration page and I can link up to this page in the menu of my website. So people can fill out this form and it'll send me an email and I would manually go onto the website and create them as a user. Now that just kind of makes the process a little bit more smooth and it seems like an approval process. It feels a little bit more like an approval process when it's that user experience of coming to the website, filling out the form, and then getting a notification that your account has been created and you are an instructor. And of course I could throw that, um, that page I just made, the instructor registration, maybe right there on my main menu. So now people can come to my website, click here and register as an instructor. Really they're just filling out a contact form and then I'll go manually create them. But if you're working with the pro versions of WP forms, Ninja forms, formidable forms, or gravity forms, they all have a uh, instructor registration ability. So that's where you can have a user registration by default, where people can come to your website and register as a user. And within WP forms or whatever forms tool you go with, you can select which role they're going to be when they register. So typically people register to your website as like a member or student, but you could select if they fill out this form, register them as an instructor. So then they could automatically go and start creating courses. So there's no intervention necessary from you in that process. Um, now those that does require the paid version of the forms tools. And uh, this setup I just displayed here out of the box is free with um, any forms tool. It's just a contact form, but it's kind of set up like a registration form. And yeah, so that's a few options you have for creating instructors on your website. Uh, the free option, or if you wanted to make the whole process automatic, I'd recommend checking out um, any paid forms tool like WP Forms, Gravity Forms. They have that user registration feature where you can select if they fill out this form, register them as an instructor. So those are a few ways you can create instructors on your Lifter LMS website. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.